What's up guys, DBC4G here, back in another video. And in this video, we're gonna be unboxing the Xbox One Elite wireless controller. Let's get started. All right guys, we're back. Let's crack this bad boy open really quick. All right, so inside you see here, you have the green Xbox branding, the controller in its carrying case, carrying pouch up front and center, right here. We're gonna put that to the side. Let's see what else we got in this bad boy. Uh, it looks like here we got some, we got a quick setup guide and some more packaging, um, some more information there. It looks like this is our Elite Cable. The, it looks like this is our, uh, oh, and batteries. What is that in there? That's it. All right, so this is the cable, the micro USB cable that comes with the Elite controller. It is a braided cable, um, as you guys can see here. It comes with the Elite controller. We'll go ahead and put that to the side. It comes with batteries. Always remember to keep your batteries. It's time for the unveiling. Oh. And there she goes, up front and center, the Microsoft Xbox Elite wireless controller. Oh man, this thing is sexy. Woo woo! Let's get you up close to that. This thing is sexy. Jeez. Got the paddles here on the back. You got the switch to do the uh, hair trigger. So if I were to pull these, if I were to pull these down, it should stop it from going in. So let me put one up and one down. And you can see there. So here I can go all the way back. And then this one I can only go a little bit. I can only go halfway. But if we do that, I can go all the way back. And that's because they're in different positions on the back. So on the front, we have a very, very sleek design. Everything is like all blacked out. I love that. These pieces are all uh, magnetic, so they come right off and they snap right back on. As you can see here in the case, you come, you get an interchangeable D-pad. This is like the, I'm interested in trying to play with this, this, this D-pad, uh, cause this really is interesting to me. Follow me for a second. On the front of the controller here, you have uh, one and two. So you can actually switch that over. And now these paddles can be mapped to a whole new set up here or even the triggers. They can be mapped a certain way differently than your one profile. That's pretty dope. Um, I don't know how much I'm really gonna get out of the profiles. I was talking to a friend about that. I don't know how much I'm gonna really get out, out of the profiles but I am very, very anxious to try those out. And I will be gaming with this controller heavily for a while to like see if I can kind of get used to it. But let's go ahead and start um, checking out some of these interchangeable pieces. Um, as I stated before, you have four thumbsticks that you can actually swap out and these are all magnetic. So you can just pull them right off and pop a new, you know, you got domed, you got higher, lower, uh, thumbsticks, so you can just pop them right on. Uh, let's go ahead and pop this D-pad out and put the other one in, just so that you guys can see. Again, love the grit and cool green accent under there, and you can just pop that right in. And now you have your traditional D-pad if the other one wasn't working for you. Um, but I love, I love the feel of this controller. It definitely feels solid. A few times now, I've, I've hit the paddles out. Um, they seem to just pop right back into place, but since they're magnetic, they, they're supposed to easily come out. Um, I think that may bother me because I've done that a few times now just playing with the controller. So maybe, you know, if I actually start gaming with it, it, you know, I may get used to that and it may be different, but a few times now I've noticed myself, you know, putting my fingers here and hitting, hitting the paddles out of place. Uh, who knows, I'll, I'll update you guys and let you know if that's something that happens a lot 
or if it was just for now and once I get used to the fact that there are paddles now on the back of the controller, uh, if I'm used to it and it doesn't happen as often. Uh, but for the most part, guys, I mean, you can take any of these interchangeable pieces and just pop them right on if you wanna if you wanna go ahead and do that. And I'm sure you know if you want a longer right thumb thumbstick, you can just swap that right out and get yourself a longer thumbstick, uh, right thumbstick. You can pop that back in there, put back on the original, and there you go. And you 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 got all your interchangeable pieces here. This is very cool because I, I feel like they're definitely gonna come out with customizable pieces. I think I even saw a uh, you know the new d-pad here with forza in the middle of it um i think there's like a fallout one you know cool little things like that that you can buy now customizable pieces that you can buy to make this controller even more customizable it would be cool if they even sold colored pieces so i could pop this off and put on a blue paddle or a green paddle um you know if i wanted to i could get you know all orange paddles back here and a black ops 3 um, D-pad here, you know, just to customize this orange thumbsticks, you know, just to even, you know, bring this customization even further. I think that would really make the Elite controller really cool. But that'll be it for this one, guys. If you liked it, hit that like button. If you're new here, hit subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.